Welcome from a secret location in Vienna. We are at the Eurovision Song Contest 2015. Well, we have a hero here. The hero is from Sweden. It's Mons Samuel. Mons, nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. It's great to be here. Now, do you feel like a hero after yesterday's rehearsal and the reception in the press hall? Yeah, kind of actually. It, it was really, uh, it was a lot of fun. And, and for being a first rehearsal, I was really satisfied actually. Mm -hmm. I felt that there are still a lot of things that we can change, some camera angles and I can do better, but uh, uh, for first rehearsal it was good. And the press conference was amazing. So many people, so many journalists and uh, uh, so many selfies. So many selfies. Doesn't that scare you, so many people all of a sudden? Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, so much fun and, and, and people are so friendly here and uh, it seems like they actually like heroes in the performance as well. But you have a lot of experience from your background. I mean, you have been three times in Melody Festival and you are the winner of Dancing with the Stars. You have been hosting one of the most popular TV programs in Sweden, Allsong på Skansen. Mm -hmm. I mean, is this still uh, something new for you? Yes, it is. I mean, it's, it's big, but I think also that Melody Festival is a very good school uh, for, for Eurovision. I mean, just going up in Friends Arena in Stockholm for 40,000 people. Uh, there aren't many other stadiums that get frightening there. So when I walked into Wiener Stadthalle yesterday, I was, uh, uh, it, it was amazing, but it was, I wasn't terrified, which was good. Um, and uh, I think all of those things you, you just mentioned have made me a better artist over the years. And I'm really happy that I'm, I'm here at Eurovision now instead of in 2009 because I didn't have that routine back then and I didn't have the, uh, um, well, I, 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 I think I'm a better artist now than I was back then. You are also a hero in another sense, I would say, because you have started your own uh, charity fund. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I started, uh, it started three years ago. It's called Selma Levin Bjorkman Foundation. It's, uh, I have it together with a Swedish ex-tennis pro uh, mm -hmm. called Jonas Bjorkman. And we have three schools in South Africa and one in Kenya, uh, and, uh, which we finance and sponsor. And uh, it's all, everything from school uniforms to teachers to food to whatever. And it's, it's great. I've always been a big fan of Africa, traveling a lot there with my family when I was a kid. And, uh, just always feeling the need to, to do something more and uh, now I'm actually doing something real which feels great. Have you been visiting the school and uh, do you know the kids? I do, I do. I'm there. Uh, I haven't visited the, the Kenya school, it's quite new so I haven't been there yet. But the three schools in South Africa I've visited, uh, go there three times a year, two or th three times a year. Uh, and I mean the, 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 the hope and the joy and, and the belief in the future that those kids have, uh, it's, it's so amazing to see and it really, it strengthens me as well uh, and I get some perspective on my own career and on my own life uh, and uh, I know that there's a different reality outside which, is, which I think is great uh, because that also makes me a better artist and, uh, and I, know, I know that they're with me here in, in Eurovision, they send, keep sending me videos mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, uh, I'm really happy to have them. So we can say that you are really their big hero. Well, I, I, I hope. Don't make I him hope. blush, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, no, but it it's feels great. Fantastic. Now, yesterday I learned something about you have a dog. Yes, I do. He's called Messi. Yes, he did. Why is he called Messi? Uh, I'm a big Barcelona fan, and uh, I think Messi is the greatest footballer on earth. Uh, mm -hmm. So. Uh, it was either Messi or Slatan, and I think Messi is a cuter dog name. So exactly, yeah. <laughs> you, you with Messi. Do you play football yourself? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. uh, not not that good though. I'm more of a tennis player, but uh, I love football and uh, I've always uh, always played. Uh, and mm, yeah, still still play like once a week. Mm -hmm. I have to ask you because when you were the host of Alson Puskansen, you were always dressed in a very proper way, with a suit and a tie. And now you have a different style. Who, I do. Yes. Who, who are you? Are you the, the proper one or are you the more casual one? <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually both. I mean, uh, I feel I now have a situation where I can dress exactly the way I want to, whenever, uh, because I've shown so many different styles over the years. 
so now I can be laid back when I want to, and I guess tonight I'm probably going to put on a jacket or a, or a suit tonight, and that's going to feel great as well. Uh, so I'm just, uh, I'm really happy with like my my style being very diverse, flexible, very flexible. <laughs> <laughs> did you have time to see something from the city of Vienna yet? Uh, well, we did a, a short walk of 40 minutes uh, the other night mm -hmm. and I saw some of the amazing buildings here and the architecture and uh, the parks. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've seen some, but not. Uh, I, I, I think I'll, I'll get to see more because I've heard that it's a really nice city. And fantastic food. Yes, fantastic food. But I've tasted that actually and it's great. We went to this uh, amazing... Uh, Restaurant the other night. Uh, we sat outdoors. Uh, it's hot, it's hot and it's humid. It's, it feels like you're even more down south. And uh, it's yeah, the food was great. Are you cooking yourself? I'm not a very good cook. No, <laughs> uh, I try, but uh, I'm I'm very good at frying frying uh, frying meat. That's okay. my thing. Uh, but apart from that, I'm not I'm not that good. Then I also have to ask you, are you a wine or a beer drinker? Uh, both. Uh, I'd say, <laughs> uh, that depends on, depends on if, if, if I'm in a, in a workout uh, state where I like, do a couple of months when I'm trying to eat, eat healthy and, and, uh, and work out every day, I'd probably go for wine. Uh, but if I'm uh, in the other state, which is like, don't care about anything, uh, I'd go for beer. Okay. So, uh, this contest now, will you have any family member coming here to support you? I will. And Messi too? No, Messi won't, <laughs> won't be coming, I'm, I'm, unfortunately. I would love to have him here, but it's a bit too hectic, so, so that wouldn't be good. Um, but my mom and my dad and my sister's coming. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be so, so much fun. Well, you've been through the, uh, Euro um, the National Final Melody Festival and twice, you've hosted it. Um, you're now the Eurovision Song Contest. What can top this for you? Well, of course, I mean, winning Eurovision would definitely top it, and uh, I, I don't know, I just, uh, I hope that th this album being released on the 5th of June is going to be the album that takes me outside of Scandinavia, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I feel I've, that it's been a huge dream of mine to do an international tour, and I've never felt closer to that than I am right now, so uh, I'm just hoping that there will be a bang after Eurovision and that uh, this leads to something even bigger. Can you tell us more about the album itself? What will it be called? What type of music will be on there? Will it be like yours? Yeah, the album is called Perfectly Damaged. Uh, it's a great album, I promise. It's a uh, great title as well. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, it has some like, uh, somewhere, it's somewhere in between sound-wise in between Barcelona Sessions, which was my last album, which was quite organic and, and quite, um, what do you call it, like, kind of indie, mm -hmm. in a way, and, uh, and Heroes, which is very powerful, power mm -hmm. pop. Uh, and I think I found a, a very nice line in between there, uh, which, uh, uh, so it has, it's very, quite hit-oriented, mm -hmm. the entire album, uh, but still with a red line. Red, uh, We're looking forward to, to hear that. Can't wait. Thank you. Yes, and we wish you all the best with your new album and also with uh, the contest. And we look forward to see you in the final. I hope so. I really, <laughs> I I really hope there's so. There's no doubt about that. Oh, no, <laughs> of course you. you will be in the final. I hope so. <laughs> so well, thanks thank very you. much for talking to us and thank all the you. best of luck. Thank yeah. you very much. Sweet.